Okay, my name is Eddie from Genesis Automotive, and what I'm going over today is basically a pass key fault, which is on a 96 Chevy Caprice. Uh, basically, if you have this problem with your car, you may not notice it right away. It may come off as if the actual starter is bad, or better yet, the starter relay is bad. Um, how we found out about this, we went ahead and tested the starter separately. The starter, of course, when you jumped the wires, turned over, was no problem. We went ahead and tested the actual uh, relay and the relay was replaced, still gave the same problem. After further diagnosis, we came to find out that the pass key fault, it occurs basically when the actual key itself, and as you see here, has those two little points on the keys when they go bad. The resistor actually takes a crap. Um, long story short, telltale signs of this is basically when you put the key in to start the car, you'll see that light flashing, pass key fault, instead of it just turning off. Also, when you go to start the car, it's nothing, it's dead. Now, quick and easy way to do this, you can take um, a digital multimeter, and with the digital multimeter, henceforth, henceforth this, you set it at uh, 20K for the ohms, you test both sides of the actual key to see exactly what ohm reading you're gonna get. Now, when I did this, I got pretty much 9.49 on, on the multimeter. Now, what I did was I tried to find an ohm with another circuit board that we have here. That's pretty much what they look like there. Let me give you an idea as far as what's going on there. That's what they look like. And you pretty much take them out, find the one within closest range to the multimeter for the power that you need for the key. Now, when doing this, all you're pretty much doing is you're going to cut it, but you're going to tie it into an actual wire. Now, the wire that you're going to tie it into, let me get into that. Is pretty much down here. Now I'm sideways so you can't really see. Let me get out of the way. But you're gonna cut the orange wire which is that wire right there. Hold on one second. You're gonna cut this wire right here which for the caprice I don't know if you can see it. It's right here. There it is. Give you a little more light so you can see it. That's the wire right there. It's an orange wire with two white wires inside of it. Now once you cut that, it's going to tie into another plugged unit. And once again, like I mentioned, this is for a 96 Chevy Caprice. Once you cut the wire, the other end... Sorry about all this. The other end looks like this. Well, like this at first. So it plugs right in. Now upon doing it, you put the resistor from the ECU onto it. As you can see, they're soldered. Uh, this one gave me a 9.87 resistance. And of course now, once it's plugged back in, it actually allows the car to start. So I'm going to try to go ahead and plug this in for you so you can see exactly what's going on. And it will be a part of video too.